Pensacola is standing up. Island Fight 72. One of the key fights on this fight card. Keyshawn Gray out of the blue. Billy Rogers out of the red. Here we go. Let's go. Fast. Billy's got the crowd behind him. Keyshawn seems to have the speed advantage in this one. Beautiful body shot. Keyshawn doing an, I really like his pull. He's pulling, he's got a really nice pull. He's not necessarily getting out of range. And that pull is allowing for him to see these shots and mm. counter at lightning speed. Oh. Oh, wow. Big shots by both boxers right now. Keyshawn had a couple good body shots, but Billy's coming with a nice little counter. He's doing a great job of adjusting here um, and finding that uppercut. He sees that Keyshawn's coming downstairs. That's how he's entering is by coming in downstairs and he's, he's keen to it and, and utilizing that uppercut. Great footwork so far by Keyshawn in round one. He's fast. I wonder if he ran, if he was some sort of runner because he's very, very, oh gosh, that was a big shot. If we were in an octagon, they would say octagon controlled by Billy Rogers, kind of in the middle of the ring, just uh, this is his domain. Keyshawn uh, is very comfortable on the outside, keeps on circling. Yeah, um, Billy's doing a great job of controlling this fight and allowing for this fight to take place where he wants it to take place. He's forcing the movement of Keyshawn. Nice little jab there by Billy. Feels like Billy in the last 30 seconds really found his range. He's starting to hit Keyshawn, couple body shots in a row, not getting hit that much. He is, and, and Keyshawn is doing a great job of countering, especially in the beginning, and, and he, again, was entering downstairs, but Billy has found that pattern and is, is, is nullifying it at this point and uh, really utilizing his long-range punches to keep Keyshawn on the outside. Both gentlemen, though, doing a fantastic job of, of being very aware of their range. And neither one of these gentlemen are, are kind of pressing or, or um, closing their distance. Great, great first round. Very technical. Yes. Very, very um, boxer's delight right there, round one. You did. You took the words right out of my mouth. Very technical from both ends. And it was great to see them adapt mid Mid-round, right. both of these gentlemen here, uh, Keyshawn has to find a new entry. The, the entry that worked in the beginning of the round was not working in the end of the round, so we have to see how he adapts. Billy found that, that opening that he was allowing Keyshawn to, to come in on and stopped that, stopped that at the end of the round and was not allowing for Keyshawn to enter. And to me, that's amazing for these amateurs to kind of feel, not outside a round, not getting the coaching. They literally, Billy felt that minute into the fight. Hey, I'm getting jabbed here in the body. I don't like this. Adapts and uh, kind of took that away from uh, Keyshawn in the last two minutes of the fight. And you know, Billy is doing a great job. It is very, very apparent that Keyshawn has the speed advantage. Mm. And, and Billy is doing a great job of nullifying that speed with his jab and staying tight. Ooh, big shots there to open up round two. Both connected. I think Billy maybe had the better right hand on the counter. He does, and you know the biggest, the, the biggest difference to me is the defense in these gentlemen. When these both, when they both open up at the same time, Billy's getting the better end of it because of how tight his guard is. He stays tight. His hands come right back to his face, and Keyshawn is a little more lax. He he likes his guard more open, and he drops his hands after his strikes, so that that leaves openings. He's susceptible and vulnerable to getting hit and countered. Hands up. 
Again, beautiful footwork by both boxers. Billy Rogers out of the red corner, Keyshawn Gray out of the blue. Keyshawn has, has such fast movement, has such a nice pull game here. I think it, it would do him big dividends if he utilizes feints in this fight. Wow, huge shots. They're both talking to each other. <laughs> Island fight 72 guys, Pearl Gonzalez, Dave Van Auken. Three fights left. Two MMA fights, one for the featherweight championship. We have a boxing match with social media influencer John Cabana. Push him out, bro. Push him out, bro. What a fantastic night of mixed martial arts. We've had boxing, Muay Thai, kickboxing, MMA. I mean, it is just a fantastic night for these, for these young and up and coming amateurs. Great round two right here with Rogers and Gray. Yeah, we've seen head kick knockouts, amazing wrestle, amazing submissions. We've seen cameraman go to war for two rounds. <laughs> Keyshawn's got to utilize his jab here. He's getting outpointed here and outstruck because he doesn't have a jab. If he utilized his jab and really just stuck it out there, he would stop a lot of Billy's forward pressure. And he's so fast, you think that jab would come out clean and fast, he just doesn't have that part of the toolbox yet. Not yet. I think that he will learn from this fight, though. And I do think that feints for him will be a game changer. He has so much speed and, and beautiful punches, beautiful straight punches, that he would really be able to land those if he sets them up a little bit more. 10 seconds left of round two. Action-packed fight so far. Billy with big shots to end the round. Big counter by Keyshawn. <laughs> Billy nice says this job. is his ring. Nice job. Both gentlemen doing a fantastic job here. You're right, Billy. Billy's winning in the mental warfare game. I think that his corner is also doing a great job of hyping him up, of boosting his confidence throughout this fight. And that plays a huge, huge um, what's their impact on the fight. The corners can help win the fight by giving them their fighter that momentum, giving their, that fight, their fighter that confidence and helping to really like gas their, their teammate and, and student up. Not even that, bro. The judges are literally three feet by each corner. Like they can hear everything, they can feel everything. If they're seeing their corner being positive and 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 Joe, strong. you know, strong, they will lean. That like, plays oh, a huge. Yes. That's why it plays such a big impact. The corner, especially when a fight is very close. Mm. I've 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 witnessed. I've been in fights where my corners helped push for that win and helped you know, give me the confidence I needed to press forward. And there's been corners that have that have out coached my corner and, right. and helped their fighter win fights. And it's just, it's a huge thing. And that's the purpose of the corner. That's the, whole, the purpose of having your coaches in your corner is to, to be the eyes, ears, and voice when you need that, that help. Round three, Billy Rogers in the white trunks, teal and pink, Keyshawn Gray in the white. Nike Pro, is that a pro? <laughs> nice job there. Keyshawn is, has to find some more entries, and, and you see him looking for them here. I do think he needs to come forward, though. He can't allow for Billy to take control of this, this round again. He's got to come forward and really take this fight to Billy and, and go get his win, earn right. his win, because he has not done it yet tonight. You almost have to take a risk. Yes. You know, he can't let Billy lead this dance, be in charge of this match. And he is. He's doing a phenomenal job of leading the dance. And he did so in the second round. Oh, oh huge shot there by Billy Rogers. Big right hand, big right hand. But here's Keyshawn right in the pocket, staying in range, not allowing for that to push him back on his heels and, and come forward. He just has to be more aggressive right now in these moments, these pausing moments where they're both thinking and trying to figure out what to do next. This is when Keyshawn needs to take advantage of these, these moments that there, where nothing's happening. Right, he needs to be in go mode right now. Yes. Nice counter again by Billy, little uppercut. Keyshawn coming goes. back though.
great break by both fighters there. There you go. Disrupt the timing is what Keyshawn can do, is disrupt that timing. Nope. Oh, there we go. The old mouthpiece, little five second win. <laughs> that gave Billy some confidence though. You saw him smile and come right forward as soon as the ref let them go. Nice shots. Billy starting to put a little power behind these. Nice upper. And Keyshawn doing a great job of moving out of the way of a lot of these shots, right? He's, he's utilizing his head movement, but he's got to strike now. He's got to let go of his hands and take this W, especially at the ending of this fight. Big shot by Billy Rogers. Yeah, Keyshawn's got to go right now. The crowd behind Billy Rogers. 15 seconds left of this fight. I'm going to say, Billy did such a fantastic job. He stays tight. He's always in a good position so he can strike and defend himself at all times. And that was a big, big deal in this fight, especially when you've got someone faster than you that's coming in and out and entering in different ways. Billy did a great job of sticking to his game plan, staying inside of his shell, and utilizing his boxing. Oh, I'm sorry. One Getting, more? Yep, one more oh, round. Oh, we get one another round. round. What one a more. treat. What a treat. Look at these replays. Billy Just Rogers fantastic. really started to turn on, I feel like, the power in that round. I felt like they throw in uh, strikes with a little bit more stake on it, a little bit more juice on it. I agree, and I think, and that goes back to his stance and being structured and being in his stance and staying in his shell and staying tight. That it plays such a huge impact on your performance is staying in your fight stance, keeping your feet underneath you, not allowing for your head to lead. Here we go, guys. Last round of this fight, round four. You got to believe that the momentum is in the corner of Billy. Shot there by Keyshawn Gray. Listening to the corner of Billy, that was another big overhand right. Billy's corner's calling for the overhand right. And Keyshawn threw it definitely his best, best <laughs> strike of the fight. Oh. Billy said, not today, Keyshawn, not today. And is coming forward with big combinations. Keyshawn you know Gray with a little, little secret to his ear. Exactly, they're both talking to each other. Uh, he, needs, he needs more of those. He needs more double jab enter entries. And again, that goes back to the feints. Big shot there by Billy. Pearl, I thought we were only gonna get three rounds of this fight. I would love six rounds of this oh fight, 10 God. rounds of this fight. You called this, Dave. You said this was gonna be a good one, and we have been in for a treat. This has been a great fight thus far. That was on our secret notes, Pearl. You weren't <laughs> supposed to tell everyone that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, great job here. Great forward pressure by Billy. Great fight, a minute and a half left. Let's see who put in that work. Let's see who put in that extra cardio. Who got up a little early to get that jog in. And it's also, ultimately, it's discipline here. Oh, that was a big hook by Billy. It's the discipline of Billy who's staying tight, who's going back to his stance, going back to his basics, staying structured. That's, that's setting him much further ahead than Keyshawn. Keyshawn's going back to that body that he started the fight. He's going back to it at the end of the fourth. Great job, both fighters here. Just fantastic output by both fighters. Last 30 seconds. Could be round deciding. 
could be fight deciding. Oh, nice jab by Keyshawn. Let's see how we end this fight here. Oh, Ten nice seconds, big job. shots by Billy. Back in the phone booth. Great job by Keyshawn, though, to close the fight up, stay tight. He, knew, he could see the momentum was in Billy's corner. And did a great job of tying up and nullifying the damage. Great fight. Great boxing match here tonight. Both of these gentlemen have to be proud of themselves. They both displayed fantastic boxing skills. Both of them adapted well. Found they had both had moments in this fight. I do I do gotta say though, big hats off to Billy for staying disciplined, staying tight. I, I believe that that was the deciding factor in this fight was his ability to stay composed. <laughs> There's the secret right there. Back and forth action. Keyshawn still throwing a little extra juice at the camera. He should have been doing that when he had his, his seconds in that fight. That's when he needed that, not right now. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, how about a round of applause for these men inside the ring? After four rounds of boxing, we go to our judges' scorecard for a decision. The judges score it 39-37, 40, 36, and 39-37. For your winner, by unanimous decision, and still undefeated, Billy the Rage Rogers. Pensacola, are you enjoying the fights? Billy, what a fantastic performance. I have to say, you set yourself much further ahead in this fight due to your discipline, staying tight in your defense, staying structured and balanced. Was that, was that something that you were working on? Yes, uh, me and Coach Sam been working on it all training camp because we knew that's what we had to do. You know, I'm used to sticking on the outside and fighting, but I knew I had to go in there with some grit this time. You did. I saw it from the beginning. As soon as you stepped into this cage, you said you claim this ring is yours. What were you surprised at all by your opponent? Uh, honestly, I could tell he's been working on the jab and he cut that weight this time because last time we fought at a catch weight, but I didn't feel the weight this time and uh, line him up around my weight and I'll give him hell. I promise that. Would you like to say anything for your fans? Your fans seem very excited yes, throughout the fight. I'd like to give my girlfriend a shout out for her birthday. That wins for her. I'd like to give uh, Colby Bridges. A shout out as well with the AMF family. I'm glad to finally be a part. Ronnie's Rooster Tail Fishing Charters, of course. My boy always shows up. And, uh, you know, Keyshawn said I wasn't that good and everything at the weigh-in, but my record speaks for itself. And 
You know, every time I come to Pensacola, I fight for you guys. I love you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, you're winning.